In this video I'm going to show you how to move objects within the flash sta stage as if they were in a 3D space. So first thing I'm going to do is just make some object. Um, let's use polygon star tool. Let's make a star. Okay, so here's my ugly star. Now it'll only work if it's actually a movie clip, so I'm going to right click it and convert it to a movie clip. I'll call it star. Okay, so you can only do this 3D image um, manipulation on it if it is uh, a movie clip, so that's one important thing to remember. Um, first thing I want to do is actually not the rotation, I want to do the translation tool. So um, the translation works where notice when I hover over this arrow it says Y this is moving it in the Y direction, X moving it in the X direction, which isn't very interesting, that's what you could have done anyways, but when you hover over the dot notice there's a little Z and that allows you to move it as if there is a Z axis coming out of your computer screen. Okay, so notice it looks like kind of like it's coming out of the frame. Okay. Now, when it comes to this, you can change what is known as the um, vanishing point. The vanishing point determines where the the star essentially vanishes to. If you took a perspective class, um, you probably dealt with the vanishing point a lot. It's the point where, if I were to make this super super small, the point where this star would be. Okay. You can change it here, so instead of typing in um, the numbers, I want to show you um, what happens if you hover over it so that the arrows show up. See where those two lines cross? That is the vanishing point. And you can see my star is kind of moving around based on where that is because I have moved it back in the space, so it's moving based on where the new vanishing point is. So if I move it forward and backward, it now is going as if it's going to that point. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing you can do is rotate it. Okay, so this is rotating it around the y-axis. Woo! I'm going to just reset it so that it looks normal. You can rotate it around the x-axis or you can rotate it around the Z. Okay. Now, right now it's rotating around the center and maybe you don't want it to do that. Maybe you want it to rotate, you know, around this point or something. So let me restart it so it's like that. So what you want to do is move this point and so you want to hover over it so that it's not saying um, any letter. You just want it to be the little black arrow and move it to you where you want your rotation point to be. So now notice it'll rotate around that. Whoop. Woo. Okay. So um, I will make a video later about um, how to animate this, but this one is just about moving it. Oh, I should talk about the perspective um, angle as well. The perspective angle is this number right here and it essentially is representing the angle of the camera. That's why there's a little picture of a camera there. So um, right now, let me take it to translation. Right now it's um, going to be the easiest way to show you by changing this back to the middle. So highlight it, put it back here, and move it in the Z direction. So notice the speed in which it's moving. Okay. Notice by changing that to something smaller, it changed the size, but it also changes how fast it moves in and out. Okay. So if I change it to something really big, change the size, oopsie, make sure the Z shows up, makes it go a lot faster. So essentially the bigger the angle, the faster it goes backwards. Okay, because the angle for the camera is higher. I don't really mess with this. I usually leave it at the 55 that it starts with. Um, I think the one that's the most helpful is the um, the vanishing point because it's really nice if you're doing some game and you have a um, 
you know, a 3D space and you have like a 2D image as your background and maybe there's like a path that goes this way, you can make that the vanishing point so when you move your character back in Z, it automatically goes through that, um, that path. So anyways, like I said, I will make a video later on how to rotate these things um, and animate it.